kind of guide to uh, Need for Speed Heat. So we're going to start with uh, menus and stuff. So click L1, you can see all of your other cars on Showcase. These are not all your cars, but they're most of them. Click R1, you can scroll across the menus in the top right. There's racer challenges, there is character customization, and then there's your car. So you can click swap car, and you can choose through many different cars which you own. But I could change to any one of these, so that's nice. Then what you can do in the studio, but you need the phone app. Customization. So it's pretty self explanatory. Performance, you swap your parts out. And um, you can buy buy parts here. So if I go to here, I can buy all of these different suspensions and stuff. And if you have any of them in your inventory, click R1 and you can access them here. You can transfer parts of different cars. So, oh uh, yeah, it's all pretty self explanatory. So you can click day or night. I normally go day if you want to earn money. Night is for rep. So I'm going to go day because we're going to do money first. And also just general showing because in day this is where you find all of your place find all of your parts shop you can go to the part shop you can find your um auto shop dealer do day races which are only cash stunt jumps are only cash here so so some of these methods may be more effective with a faster car uh well the method i'm going to use so over here gas stations access these part shop no one really uses these anymore uh, I don't know why no, I'm just click here enter part shop is literally just the garage I just don't see any point in them um, you run over here you can see there's a jump over there and there's a race down here so races look like this Click R1 to start, click L1, you can change your car before you go into the race, which is pretty handy. So if you're doing a drift event, then you go into this. You've got drift, drift areas, and billboards and stuff. Right, so I'm going to flip around. Oh, one sec. One gone. Flip around, and go over to the car dealership. Alright, I'm going to give you a basic controls check quickly. R1, accelerate. No, R R2, accelerate. L2, brake. L2 also doubles as reverse. This is um, automatic control, so do live tuning. Change all of these up. But they're they're pretty useful. So go to the dealership, click R1. You find all of these cars here. You can buy any of these for whatever amount of money you have. I don't have. I normally will buy something more high end. So if we scroll over here. This is more my stuff that I'd buy, like a Testarossa and stuff. Oh, we're 40. Need to get one of these. But, uh, yeah. This is the stuff you can get. This car is free. I don't know why. But it is, so it's a pretty good car to start off with if you want to. You can customise it, you can have it, it's yours forever. I think it's because it was part of a challenge. Not everyone, not everyone might have it, but I'm not sure. Uh, on the map, the dealership is literally, so... This is the map. If we just zoom in. Here's your auto shop, your garage. You leave, you literally go around the speedway. Here, here, boom, boom. Here's the dealership, and you can fast travel to the dealership. You can fast travel there, and you can fast travel to the part shop. All press triangle. You can also fast travel to every single um, garage you've you've collected. So if I want to go over here, press triangle. I've every single garage you found, I mean, <laughs> click over here, well, I found that, go, go over there. Um, we're going to be using this feature to go to the money spot I like to use. So over here, if you see the whole map, there is your garage, go over to the side of the map, there is a gas station here, you do not want to go there. There is a house down here, you want to travel here, and we're going to be doing this jump today. So this method can get you about 660 grand, um, every maybe five minutes if you do it 100% accuracy I don't because I'm not the best at this game but um if you get this 100% accuracy it'll be 60 grand a minute if you don't get 100% accuracy and you only get um 
the second place prize of 4,000 coins. It will be four grand a minute and then 2,500 for um, the last. So you have to jump 80 meters, I believe. So use a car. Sometimes it's glitchy. Today it is not. And you fly. And boom, there we go. Six grand from jumping 82 meters, quite simply. And then you go back. You do not want to get too much of a run up, otherwise the game just does not like it. So what I like to do is flip around here. Don't use my NOS normally. I used that one time because I had it. I would not use it normally. And if you have extra repair kits and stuff, if your car gets damaged whilst doing this, sometimes it will glitch out like this and it's really annoying. But if you're with 100% accuracy, you should be able to get in 60 grand a, every 5 minutes, which is 120 every 10 minutes. So it's pretty good, like you get 4,500 RP or rep for just like nothing. It's really weird. I'm gonna do a quick jump here, see what this one's like. Look, you only have to jump 77 here. Oh, I did horrible, I didn't even get one star. So it's not like that jump's a very simple one. You can also do jumps in the speedway, that always works. Uh, we'll be coming back to speedway soon for night. And yeah, actually, we're going to go into speedway for night. So see you soon. A uh, quick little tip here, you can press L3 or your left controller, your left joystick on Xbox, press it down and it will swap you into night without even having to go in the garage. And you'll be straight into night. So what I like to do is drive over here, I have got 500 um, rep, I'm max level, but I like to go over here, do this race, you know, build up some heat. Um, in a slower car course this will be a lot harder and you'll get more rep for it. So, I normally aim for like 100,000 rep a night, but if you're in a slower car, I'd probably aim for about 25,000. And um, Heat 5 races are not easy, so you want maybe a car that's got 250 to 300 plus rating. But Heat 3s you can always do, and Heat 1s, just like normal races, they, they do give a decent amount of money. But I'm going to be showing how to escape cops quickly and easily as well and how to get some decent rep at lower levels with slower cars. So I used to drive a GTR, which was 270 level. That was, that was like, I was like trying to get my rep to like rep 40 so I can get this car. And it really does help, um, this trick I'm about to show you. So this is for like kind of early game players and I'll show a late game player trick earlier. The money trick I would use for every single, like I still use it and I've been using it since I was like rep five. Um, of course do all the races in the city and stuff, but once you've done every single race, um, they start decreasing value, so it's actually more efficient to do the method. But if you haven't done every single race, I'd recommend going doing every every single race before you start doing the trick I just showed. But um, you want to do this race quickly, and I'll just time lapse through this. So what you can do is press triangle and retry the event. I would not, I don't personally do that. What I would do quickly is check my map, look for a close race. Yeah, that's a pretty good race. We'll go do this one. Uh, you don't want to get cops until you've done at least like three races. Because if you do get cops, um, I'll show you how to use this trick, how to, use, how to uh, escape them now. We'll get one more level of cops. We can find some cops somewhere. Get some high heat. If we can get some cops, we can show you. So we'll just time-lapse through this one, uh, just so you know, the higher level of your car, the more performance points it has, the harder the race. And also your rep helps unlock new races, but the rep, the races I've, the race I've just shown you, that is always available. So I've just picked a random race, you, most people will not have this race because it's quite, it's a 310. For this game, I you should grind rep like twice as much as you grind money because money's only good with rep. Rep is the main point of this game. You can't just go to a dealership and buy any car. You have to level up, unlock the car. You wanna hit this jump? Oh god, I've broken again. So yeah, this game is quite glitchy with the jumps, depending on what car you have. My car, because it's so low, it lags out the game. 
when I, get, I hit jumps, like, it, it, that, like you just saw. Um, it's really annoying, but um, it all depends on what car you have. If your car's like raised or not lowered, it will be way better. But all right, go speed mode now. Gonna go time lapse. This is good. Can show. I will most definitely lose this guy, so I'm gonna slow down. I'm not gonna win the race, but we want to keep this cop. Oh, we got him. All right, we've got heat three, so we've just unlocked heat three races. But before we do something, we need to mark a waypoint to speedway because I don't know where it is that well. Uh, if we just mark that, one, there we go. Oh, they are actually pretty fast, just so you know. All right, I'm just gonna look. I'm going in one of the fastest cars in the game with a turbo and I'm getting they, they will the cops in this game will always be faster than you unless you're nothing but your your genuine normal speed they will always be faster this spot is also really insane because there's a gas station right next to you so you want to hop in the speedway now the cops will never leave the speedway until you lose them and you wait about two about 20 seconds so you don't have to risk about losing them or anything like that. So what you want to do, you want to do this jump here. This jump, this is a beginner's trick. This jump will give you so much rep. So let me just get the cops again. And I'll show you a trick to lose them. Without of course being super fast. So if you're super fast, this does not matter. This trick will not help you. This bump, you jump over, you want to land it and try not to fall off. So it works a lot and it will lose them in about two seconds if you do it right. Too closely, which is because sometimes you also get stuck, in which case you want to leave speedway. You want to go over here and you want to rip the e brake and you want to hold it. And they will have no clue where you are. Even if there's a helicopter or anything, they'll never know. But I've just escaped. So now we just look, look, there. there's loads of them in here. Gotta wait for them to leave. So we'll just wait quickly. Whilst we're waiting, I should probably say the best trick for this is using. So the best cars for mid game, so beginner game, you wanna use uh, 180 SX or a um, BMW because BMW is pretty quick they can hit the jump pretty fast um, mid game you want to really use a RSR because they are rapid like you can make them as good as this quite easily and yeah and then the final car you really want to use uh, late game I'd say one of the Ferraris this basically anything above 500k you want to use they all work phenomenally. So yeah, there we go. Finish the night. Thank you for watching. And goodbye.